All right, boys and girls, here we are. She's all fueled and oiled up. First ever time trying to start it. We'll run it a few times in this log right here, get it warmed up and, you know, stuff, get it tuned in. And then we'll do the timed cuts in this log. Something ain't right. Hmm. Let's make sure I put that spark plug back in and stuff. <clears throat> Maybe that spark plug coil wire isn't all the way down. Okay. I think I didn't have that coil wire all the way down. I had just, you know, pulled the spark plug out and did a compression test and stuff. So we're gonna chalk that one up as my error. go let's try this again
So it seemed to find its tune really quickly. Um, not that the Mark I was bad. It really wasn't at all. It tuned up really nice and quick as well. But, um, but normally with the Mark I, it would definitely be at the bottom of the first cut or into the second cut before it settled in and found its tune. This thing seemed to find its tune before halfway. So that's fantastic. Really. Now, hot start. Let's see if it starts back up. Not exactly hot, I know, but... to get past those knots. just because. Okay, initial thoughts. hard to tell pine is inconsistent and when you hit a knot boy it slows it down doesn't it my gosh um but uh i, I hesitate to say it but yeah i think it kind of feels a little just a just the least amount more powerful than the mark one but I think it's probably not more powerful. It probably has broader power. Um, like whenever I would, like you saw, I got into this portion right here and you could hear the saw just go and really um, handle the full width of the wood a little bit differently. It was pulling very well. And I kind of feel like the Mark I I would have had to ease up and do a, just a hair more work. I mean, we're talking, it's minuscule. Um, but I, I do kind of feel like I would have had to do just a touch more work uh, to get it through there versus this. I was able to just let it bog and grrr and it was able to pull it through. My guess is that is a clear um a clear uh attribute to these things do not have a stuffed crank okay the mark one has stuffers and so that's a closer tighter uh um uh, uh crankcase because of those stuffers and that gives you great throttle response and um and it'll get up to the higher rpms quicker but generally speaking whenever you have an open crankcase 
they're more apt to have a broader power band. And I, I, I think I could feel that right there. That felt really good. I like it. Uh, but, I mean, it's too early to tell anything. The feel of the saw, I've got to got to go ahead and say I've always really or at least since since I got my mark one I have complained a lot about it being heavy um, this one I know it's it's only like I think it's about four ounces lighter than this two tenths of a pound which is nothing, you know, I mean, but my elbow, my left elbow right now is really fragile, right? It is injured and it's from doing this, right? And I gotta say, I really feel it with that 562, whereas this feels more like my Johnson Red 2258. And I've always liked it way more than the 562 i just want it to have more power right because they're compared to the 562 my johnson red and the husqvarna 555 are definitely lacking in power and um and so but the feel of the saw it feels better to use and work so this all signs point to better saw <laughs> supposedly they fixed the uh, um, the crank bearings the crank bearing and seal issue they definitely gave it less compress compression because I believe this has a dished piston in it um, yeah I mean just from tiny little bit of testing right here I de I, I, I think I like this no uh, markably better than my mark one is it truly a better saw i don't know time's going to tell that um but i i enjoy it yeah uh, this is good um there was something else i was going to say real quick oh re uh, hot start now it's definitely warmed up right let's just see if it's a one pull It is not. However, the 562 wouldn't even unless you put it back on high idle. So I am going to now go and i'm going to muffler mod this and we'll come back i'm not going to do any more cuts right now because i got to save my wood right but i'm going to come back and see if it responds well to a nice muffler mod oh and keep in mind all right if that's the first run that this has done my mark one is well broken in very well broken in it's probably got i don't know 20 tanks of fuel through it maybe um maybe not that much 10 to 15 you know but it is definitely broken in whereas this thing absolutely is fresh as can be these are the very first cuts it's ever made so is it as fast we'll see <laughs> 